Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going over the difference between Amazon categories and Amazon keywords. A lot of people mess this up. I mess this up. Yeah, I'm saying it right now, I mess it up. And I just now understand the clear differences between those two things because they are different. We're just gonna start off with the basics, okay? And that is categories. What's the definition? Categories describe your book and is unique to your book. So think of where your book would be categorized if it were in a bookstore or in a library. And this is based on the B-I-S-A-C or Book Industry Standards and Communications, which is a lot, but that's what they use and throughout all types of publishing industries, it's the BISAC. Am I even saying that right, BISAC? I think it's BISAC. <laughs> it sounds weird as an acronym, but I'm not saying the whole thing again. So that would be like, for example, fiction, nonfiction, graphic novels, so on and so forth. That very broad, very broad. And when it's broad, we'll get into how that works out on a KDP dashboard when you're trying to publish your book and picking categories. You want something that encompasses the BISAC at first, you know, umbrella, we're going from the top down. And then you can choose multiple, if you have multiple, subcategories. Example, fiction, science fiction, alien invasion very broad fiction category science fiction and then you have a subcategory is alien invasion another example for my book a patriot's tale fiction historical fiction u.s historical fiction military historical fiction and u.s revolution and founding history so those are subcategories that are the ones that are currently ranking and almost always rank for a Patriot's Tale because yes, it's fiction and then it's historical fiction, but how many books are in just the historical fiction section on Amazon? A lot, right? So you're not going to be found whatsoever, okay? Unless you're Diana Gabaldon, for example, or like another famous uh, historical fiction writer in the top 50 or top 100 under just historical fiction. It's just not gonna happen. Sorry, you're gonna have to be like a Diana Gabaldon or a Philippa uh, Gregory, okay, to really get that broad. So then you gotta go into subcategories. So as I said, I can fit into three categories or three subcategories and that is um, getting really more into specifics because you can have up to 10 categories, but you can, when you're doing your initial publishing, you choose two. And this is where it gets really weird, you know, really confusing, but I digress. Oftentimes, readers will go into the Kindle books or just books for physical copies. They're different stores. Go into any given category. And so how you drill down to those two categories is going into your book's information on the KDP dashboard. Edit book details. It's either gonna say edit paperback details, hardcover details, ebook details. And scroll down to the category section and have fun because it can become a little tedious clicking on all those uh, categories or just trying to find at times what category fits and it's a bit limiting as well like you have a lot of categories for those two given categories on the kdp dashboard but you're not going to get really subcategories and that's where you have to think broadly broad not specifically <laughs> uh the two categories you can choose on the kdp dashboard are meant to be broad and then you can get uh, the other subcategories like the other eight in, via KDP help that gets into details <laughs> that, like I said, kind of 
verging off the main topic of just talking about categories versus keywords. But to optimize visibility, your keywords matter. But what are Amazon keywords? So the definition of the Amazon keywords and what you're looking for and inputting into that keyword section under the editing book details is you're making your book easier to find for the ideal reader and keywords are unique words or phrases that are more specific and accurate description of your book. So think of keywords as you are telling the librarian can you recommend a fiction book set during the Revolutionary War with a female main character? And then the librarian has like five books in mind because that that's actually like a question. And we're not wanting to put it into a question, but the keywords in that question that leads the librarian to have five books automatically in mind. That's what you need for those keywords. And then how do you find keywords? There's two main ways. I'm sure there's other ways, but the two main ways are one of the best tools that is, you do have to pay for it is uh, publishing rocket. And no, I'm not being paid to say that <laughs> it's not a paid sponsorship or whatever you call. I'm not big enough for that. I'm just saying publishing rocket because that is the tool for self published writers to find categories, keywords, similar books. It does a lot of stuff. So Publishing Rocket is where it's at. Now, if you don't want to pay for Publishing Rocket, then the free way is to think like a reader. What do you search for in the Amazon search bar when you're looking for a specific book? Now, some things to remember regarding keywords. You can't say best-selling or an author name or another book name or title within the edit book details in the KDP dashboard. Try to be as specific as possible without stuffing the keywords section. And so the given example right now is it's too broad. You're going to confuse the algorithms and it's just not going to, it's just not going to go well. Like how looking at this, how would those very broad and basic words and phrases help find the ideal reader for your book specifically. You're going to confuse the Amazon algorithm and then it will either stop performing very fast or not perform at all. Now the second example pictured is my fourth poetry book with the categories and the keywords. You see my keywords on top for my chat book and the two given main categories for the book below it and focus on how they relate to each other fairly well. There is really no room to confuse Amazon and the algorithm and the reader that this is not a poetry book. No, it is for sure 100% poetry. It's not a science fiction novel. It's not a travel book. It's poetry. The two given categories and the seven keywords match up. The algorithm of Amazon will very, very much understand this is poetry chat book. Therefore, it's going to target poetry readers. Focus on words and short phrases and basically what you type into the search bar. Don't add punctuation or keyword stuffing. So there are a lot of people, maybe they still do it, but it was a thing where they would just add, you can do 50 characters in each little writable <coughs> section. So there's seven parts to it, as you can see. People were stuffing it, so keyword stuffing, all the way until it hit 50 words. Pretty sure like 99% sure you're going to get dinged for that by Amazon. So don't do that. <laughs> Just do very specific words or, you know, phrases that make sense to your specific book.
no subjective or temporary words like free, cheap, best selling, best book ever, brand new. You will not be able to move forward because they'll tell you to get rid of those keywords or phrases before publishing can go through and the book is live. So they do use algorithms to scan those keywords and it's also the same for the categories plus uh, there are moderators that look at that information as well as like everything else before you officially can publish and they will tell you <laughs> you can't do that take out this keyword that category does not make sense with everything else that's working so you need to find another uh, category another thing that is a bit annoying <laughs> and it's not just uh self published authors but also traditionally published in small press sometimes if the categories not sometimes a lot of the time <laughs> when the categories and the keywords don't match or there's confusing things amazon will take you out of certain categories and put you in other categories without telling you so that's why book link is really important look up your amazon categories bi-weekly or at least twice a month and see what book is having some category problems it can also confuse the algorithm the zon if you do a mishmash of subcategories that you have to request and it's a whole form and it's a thing and that's another video that can also create a lot of confusion and it can stop serving your book and kind of drift it down into nothingness because the algorithm doesn't know what to do if you have, let's say, for example, science fiction and alien invasion, but then somehow there's like a rom-com that you added. So one of the categories out of the eight that you add onto the two categories is rom-com because there's subplot and it, their bantering is funny that's not gonna work <laughs> i'm gonna tell you that right now not good don't do that just because your book has something in it does not mean that it is that subcategory for example and i'm gonna say up front <laughs> It's a little disappointing because I, I love uh, Die Hard. But a member of the ad school that I'm part of, Brian Cohen's ad school, Quinn, they gave the example of people like to say that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. But just because it's during Christmas and they have a Christmas party and everything is decorated to celebrate Christmas does not mean it's a Christmas movie. Does that make sense? I hope it does make sense. When I heard that, I was like, oh, that's really good. But that's why Quinn uh, is a coach in ad school. Fantastic analogy, makes sense to me. Hopefully that kind of clears it up for everyone regarding should I add this subcategory? Because my story has some elements of it. No, we need to have the most relevant categories and subcategories and keywords as possible or else your book going out the gate is just going to confuse the algorithm and it's going to take a lot, like a lot of time and energy to write that algorithm. It can be done, but it's going to take months, maybe, like, <laughs> depending how much you messed up. <laughs> no offense, but depending how much you messed up, it could take a year, year and a half. Especially if it's like, you know, for example, you put rom-com, romance, science fiction, alien invasion, because that's what you think would work. So like I said, just because it has something, like it has a romance subplot, that doesn't mean it's a romance book. So don't even put romance or rom-com into your science fiction book about alien invasions. Thank you so much for watching my video on
figuring out and discussing the differences between Amazon categories and Amazon keywords. I hope this video helped you out and go forth and publish that book as precisely as possible with your keywords and your categories for publishing a book that the Amazon algorithm understands from day one of publishing versus a year from now, you figured out you messed up. <laughs> and that's a lot of cleanup. We want to save time, energy, money, heartache, tears, <laughs> and just off the bat, do it correctly the first time or the second time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great writing day. Bye.